Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Building with Sausage. This is Mythical Sausage here. Hello, what is up? How is everybody doing? Man, today we're going to be doing something pretty cool. I'm going to go ahead and transform this simple, basic Minecraft default pond into something a little cooler. Something that you can terraform in your world to just bring a little more interest in your little ponds. You can make a little fishing hole out of this. Uh, just make it a little bit better than just your default pond. So let's go. Let's get this started. This is going to be a lot of fun. So let's flip. Uh, right now we're in our boy Jermsey Boys pack. So if you want to download this resource pack, it is amazing. It just recently updated a couple days ago. Go ahead, check it out. The links is in the description. Go play with it. It's awesome. You could do this also in just regular default. It's going to look amazing. Trust me, it's going to look a lot better than this. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and play around with some stuff. So the first things you're going to be needing uh, to make these ponds uh, stand out just a little more. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get some coarse dirt. We're going to get some coarse dirt. We're going to get some gravel. going to get some pods. Uh, we're going to bring a little bit of spruce in there, a little spruce slab, a little spruce trap door, uh, bone meal, very important bone meal. Uh, get some tropical fish inside this pond. Come on. If you don't have tropical fish close by, that's fine. If anything, you can throw in some uh, cod or uh, even some salmon. It will be all right. Uh, get some sea pickles. If you can't find sea pickles, there's no other substitute, whatever. I'll show, well, I'll show you what you can do to light up these ponds also. We can do some glowstone tricks. But also, in Jer's pack, uh, he made the petrified wood slab, I believe, into this awesome coarse dirt slab. So we're going to use this. If you don't have this, don't worry. Uh, you can replace those with spruce just to add a little bit of extra detail. Uh, but it's so cool. It actually makes that cool little elevation change. But uh, let's start doing this. Uh, of course, your pond is probably going to look nothing like this. It's not going to be an exact replica. But I'm just going to show you little tricks that you can make these ponds look amazing. Okay, so first off... Let's play around with stuff. So the thing I like doing with ponds is that uh, sometimes they're really not even this uh, deep. Sometimes they're just one high. Uh, so this is a little bit better. This is one, but then it goes to two, uh, two deep, right? So we're going to go ahead and just maybe give this a little more depth. So I'm going to just maybe go down one more. Uh, so let's knock some of this down. I'm going to still leave a little bit of a layer here at the beginning. Because you notice most ponds that go from regular to a little more shallow. Uh, so we're going to do that. So let's knock some of this down. I'm going to get rid of a lot of this stone, though. I really don't want to have that much stone in a pond. If you notice, you look down in the pond, you don't see that much stone, really. Uh, you might see maybe a speck here or there. Uh, mostly it's dirty, right? It's like uh, mud. Uh, you're going to see a lot of uh, maybe a bunch of leaves down on the bottom. You're going to see a little algae overgrown, stuff like that. So uh, let's play around with this. So something like this. It's probably good. Okay, so now uh, let me get some gravel. And the gravel is so nice. Look at that. It's like mud and stones. It looks really cool. Uh, so, and this takes me. Uh, so, let's go ahead. I'm going to mix some of this in. So, let's do some of this right here. Let's do a little mixture. I'm going to take some of this dirt out that's on top here and put some of those stone gravel little bits here as well. And we're going to be mixing, doing a lot of adding a, a, a bunch of different blocks in here just to make it pop a little more. And we're going to break some stone. Some stone is still going to stay down here. Uh, so, let's add actually now some coarse dirt coarse dirt looks awesome because it has all these little block variants in there uh look at that this they're not all the same it looks so good look at that a little bit of uh, of that mossy in there some stone looking awesome you guys gotta download this pack if you have it come on so awesome jeremy's the man uh so let's do something like this add that let's go i think that's good that's a good little bottom part right i like that maybe add a little more shape to this corner Oh, I like that. See that? It's a little more interesting to look at right now. Oh, let's get rid of that diary. I don't want you there. Uh, also, let's throw in some Podzo in here. Podzo's really cool because it has a little bit of leaves in there. So that adds also a lot of detail. Uh, and it looks really cool. Something like this. So you have some leaves on the side. Let's go. Maybe a little bit off the side right here. And for above ground pods, so usually I like to put it close to trees. So we do have a nice little uh, array of trees here. So I'm going to sprinkle some of this also uh, around the area, maybe underneath the trees. You can't tell that the leaves just fell down right around here. Uh, play around also here. I'm not going to terraform this whole place, but just to show you what I would do in the area surrounding it. Uh, so something like this. Cool. Let's do something like that for now. So this looking good. Now, what I want to add is this beautiful coarse dirt slab. Come on, look at this. Look how cool it's gonna look on the water. Uh, we, we do need to get some water. We gotta <laughs> we gotta waterlog these, okay? Uh, but it's fine. Let's we'll waterlog it along the way. Let's see. What do I take out? Let me take out this thing right here. Okay. So let's go ahead and add some water to that. There we go. Uh, and it gives it this cool little. Uh, oh, it's, it's so good. It's almost like uh, snow layers uh, gives that effect of. Oh, but it's so good. I wish we had this in in real life. Come on, Mojang. Look at that. Just and if you don't have this, also. Um, um, you can use if you're on uh, 114 snapshot uh, you can actually mix in regular stone that's a good variant of that uh, maybe some andesite it'll also be pretty good 
play around. Just have fun. Uh, and, and even if you don't have 114 snapshots yet, you can use uh, just uh, spruce, if anything. That'll be cool. Uh, so something like this is add some more on the tippy tops, too, like this. This is looking cool. Like that. Maybe one more on this side. I think that'll do good. And then we could also go above ground, add a little bit. Maybe this will be like a easier way to get up and down instead of having stairs, right? Uh, so you could add some of this around to the sides. Maybe a little more on this side. Uh, and I think yeah, let's not add too much. Maybe something like that. Just a little bit. And then let's go up to the tippy top and also mess with it a little bit. Let's put a little bit of coarse dirt down here. Uh, just to have a nice transition from the water to that. Because if you notice, if you're close to a pond, right at the side, right at the edges, you're not going to have this really clean cut grass. You're going to have a lot of like something that looks like coarse dirt, right? You're going to have something that looks like uh, that, like mossy a little bit. Uh, so just play around with it. Add these things. We're also, I'm going to bring that to in a second. We're going to add some moss. Uh, but also, this is going to be a good way to get into the pond because if you think about it well i'm gonna probably cover the rest around here surround it all in uh, these trees but having a little pass like go, go like this just go in and around also do a lot so we're gonna do gravel path and then also maybe uh, bring in some of the regular path block i'll bring a, a little uh a little shovel in a second and that'll be fine so a little way around to get to your pond a nice little path and we can do like a little fishing kind of hole on this. You'll see. I'll, I'll work something out. But let's keep adding a little more detail, a little more of this gravel splattered around. Just randomly pick your spots. Don't go too crazy, but, you know, add as much detail just to make it stand out just a little bit. Uh, so something like that. Look, we just did a little bit, and it's already looking so much better. All right. Now, next up, what I want to do is uh, let's go in the water. Let's go ahead also add a little bit of mossy. Just a little bit, uh, and I'm gonna go with, uh, oh, and that's a new one right there. I'm not, I'm not gonna even show you that, and that was awesome. Uh, let's do mossy cobble, regular old mossy cobble. Let's get rid of some of this, and just a little bit, just a little bit, wherever those stones were, there, I'm gonna add, replace the regular stone with the mossy. Maybe add a little bit over here on the side. There we go, a little bit here, maybe some hidden on the corner, uh, and I think that is just good, just enough sprinkling right there and maybe we can even get some on the top just to show that there's mossy stones all over the place maybe just a little bit here a little there not too much maybe one more right off to the side something like that okay cool now <laughs> look at that it's looking awesome right okay now let's go underwater and we're gonna bring in this bone meal watch this oh with uh, th this update, the last update, 113, man. It's so cool that we can put all this stuff into the water to detail it. But look at that. Let's add a little bit more of that. Look at that seagrass. And you don't want to add too much. Uh, you want to maybe knock some down. Don't give. Uh, don't put too many of the tall ones. The little ones do just as good. Uh, and I think that's just the right amount. Look at that. Just the right amount. Now, let's go ahead and drop our tropical fish. These are the best. Let's go drop a couple. Let's do one, two, three, four, five. Let's do one more six. Maybe one more seven. That's it. No more than seven. That's already too much. That's already. That's enough. I think that's fine. <laughs> Let's also go down here and add some sea pickles. Let's do. Uh, the more sea pickles you add, the more light you get. Look at that. So maybe one side will have a big bright one. Uh, have some minor ones here. Maybe a small one uh, over here in this corner. Maybe look right here. This is a little small light right there. Look how cool that looks. Come on. That's so awesome. Maybe one more right here. A little bit of a bigger light. There we go. And this just adds so much. So another thing you want to do is let's get rid of some of this stuff. Let's grab also some lily pads. You can add to actually that. That's one of my favorite things to add in ponds. Now another thing we can add is sugar cane. I misspelled it. Some sugar canes for sure. Also get some string, and I'll show you why you want to use some string on some of these. Uh, so first off. Let's do some lily pads. The way I like putting my lily pads, I like kind of putting them on edges, kind of getting closer to the corners, like so. Maybe something like that. Nothing too crazy, just a little bit, just to add a little bit of detail. But usually I like getting them in, in like little corners like that. Maybe one more. Boop, right there. Let's go. Cool. Then let's grab our sugar cane and just pick whatever you want. Uh, let's put one here. Let's put one here. Let's drop one maybe right there. And just eyeball it. Let's see. You you want to keep it at different uh, locations just to get a nice uh, a nice view. There we go. That's a nice spot. Maybe one more right here. Now you know most sugar canes they'll grow up tall. Sometimes I want short sugar canes like this to give a, a little bit of, of, of an elevation change. Maybe a big one here. Maybe a two here. These are fine, but for these so they don't grow. Put a little string on it. These don't grow. Put a little string right there. And these don't grow. That's, I think, is as tall as it gets. Does it go four? I don't know. Just, just in case, let's put one on top. <laughs> no, that's fine. Leave it like that. Uh, but that looks good, and that keeps it from growing. And that looks so good, okay? There you go. Now, other things you want to do to add more details to your pond is add little points of interest. So one thing I want to do is right here, I want to add a little fishing uh, pier, a little fishing dock right here just to come out 
right here a little bit maybe even take it down and around let's do something like this but uh, not too big just something small uh maybe just like let's take it like this and you see how the it's directional so i like mixing the directions a little bit so for this one i'll take it two in to the inland part two out right there and just to give it a little bit more get a fence uh let's do i would think maybe a spruce fence probably look the best and let's go into the water uh right about at this level i think we can get rid of that and let's take this up so it kind of holds this up right about here let's take one right there and let's maybe move around let's let's let's, let's mess with this a little bit how about we do something like that make it like a little broken there we go and that looks cool when it looks a little more broken like that uh let's take this one out as well let's maybe take this in there it is look at that it looks so much more rickety so there you go you got your little fishing hole right there and be careful these fish they're, they're very nice don't 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 uh, don't fish them all okay uh so a little fishing hole right there coming out with a fence post in the middle it looks looking really really good also little bits of detail you could do is also add flowers flowers do so much so let's go ahead let's add so many good new flowers germ has here let's, let's change some oxidaisies do some pink hibiscus uh maybe some lavender uh let's get some of the big flowers too maybe some of the uh the lilacs are great how about some sunflowers too and we can yeah, actually just get some bone meal back let's get the bones back in here and we'll uh, just do some regular old bone mealing uh so let's add a little bit of detail here how about we add a big one right there let's add another big boy right there uh maybe coming in here to the side another right about here there we go that looks good uh let's bring in some of the lavender just to add a little bit more detail to it and i like doing my flowers in like little patches like this uh so it actually stands out even more uh we can have some single ones but i kind of like the patch idea just to keep a little bit more uh, in one specific area i want to get rid of that so i can do this there we go uh so something like that looks really really cool we already have some of the, the the red boys over there so that looks awesome maybe get rid of you let's do that i lost my sunflower hold on let's grab that sunflower back uh let's add a little bit more so bam oh i don't like the sunflower anymore because it's it's, it's oh, going towards the sun uh how about we put one uh maybe right about here on this side we can see a little bit more of that oh but look at this we've transformed this so much already uh another little tiny little bit that i want to do is come in here let's do a little bit of bone mealing not too much just to get us some overgrown a little bit of high tall grass just splattered around the back uh some on this side some here going around this path there we go and another little thing i want to do is if you grab a bed this looks awesome this is a brown bed it looks like a little bench you don't have to use this if you don't have germs packed what you can do is just put a slab the spruce slabs are fine dark oak slabs uh and then put maybe some trap doors uh behind it and that'll do a lot to your stuff look at this let's put a little seating area uh right here let's move this back maybe put a little seat right here and that looks so awesome maybe knock down some of the stuff here just so you can see uh, a little bit more detail of what you can do with these seats so do right here let's do some trap doors and then over here let's do some more trap and then we have that nice little seating area right here that looks so good that looks so good and if you want you could bring that back do a little elevation going down like that oh that's awesome there you go and that is just the beginning you can go crazy with this hopefully you guys enjoyed let's do a little bit of a of a, of a of a nice little walk around here but you can do a lot more with this stuff you can add more trees you can customize your trees too uh you can add more seating areas uh you can make it bigger you can make it deeper you can put more stuff down there go crazy you can even go down there and put some corals if you want to go all the way nuts uh, but you know what you can just play around have fun hopefully you guys got a little bit of inspiration from this thing uh, i've been doing this in my single player world recently and i just wanted to show you guys how i did it uh, to give you a little bit more detail on how you can go ahead and just improve your ponds in your world because they're very underrated you can change your whole area just with one little pond like this but <laughs> thank you so much for watching let me know if there's any other bills any other terraforming tips you guys want for any upcoming episodes and i'll go ahead and do it but <laughs> i'll see you guys very very soon on the next episode have a good one goodbye